Taekwondo once was known as a lethal kick in martial art, but nowadays we are going to watch even more horrible kicks. This martial art started with the goal to weaponize humans, and has transformed into a captivating game that has nothing to share with the real martial art. Now the goal is no longer merely survival, instead is to accumulate points as fast as you can, and does not matter the way, also if it is unconventional. In the Taekwondo community there is a drama around this, but it's done only from old school fighters that are not able to adapt to the modern needs and are tied to the old feelings and emotions. I would also talk in the same way if people tell me that new Pokemons are better than first generation, <laughs> of course they are not. So we lost a spectacular back kicks exchange in trade of side shit kicks. But in the end, also if we hate this sport for how is done in this moment, every fighter loves the scoring system is, cause it gives us the same emotions of the old one. But we are safer and we can express much more our creativity and we can feel joy and frustration on every single point. So today we are all here to watch those two Koreans striking and scoring with the I don't know what type of kicks. Welcome Taekwondo Fighter, I'm Taekwondo Analysis and I love to share my fight analysis special on this channel. If you want to improve with me and support this channel, click like, subscribe and in the description I let you the best Taekwondo products. Watch and enjoy the full video and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We can watch the first blue mistake, the red use like a sidekick to expose the blue weakness and keep the leg up. He block with the kick with the cancel kick and now he's blocking the leg with his hand. In my opinion I would have just push it down because in this position the leg can be really a problem for the blue and could be a great opportunity for the red. He was able to find a spot with a back kick on the blue armor. The blue closed the distance with a clinch and scored two points uh, in the same way on the first on the side of the red armor. Here we can watch a kick that uh, a lot of high level player training so when the opponent push wall towards you you lift your leg keep your leg close as possible and try to hit the front side of your foot so we are going to watch in a slow-mo that you should train because it is really easy to score with this kick another kick that high level player are using a lot is this one that is not a back kick but it is a kick to the back of the opponent armor so watch in slow-mo goes in a clinch and try to score backside of the opponent armor. Of course, it's hard to turn your foot, so this is not a real taekwondo kick, but it's just a way to score a point because you have magnets also on the side of your foot. Watch the lot of players doing this kick, and this is also something that you should learn if you want to score points easily. This is a scoring game system, and player just try to score as much as they can. It was not confident on this uh, spinning back kick, uh, it wasn't uh, really uh, one of the best spinning back kick of course, so there was a mistake on that spinning kick. Also by experience and fighting uh, the red every day, he was able to predict that the spinning kick and was able to score on the back of the opponent. The blue act multiple time, uh, instead the red uh, just backstep without uh, blocking uh, or doing something to block the blue action here if uh, he used a cut kick he could have stopped this kick but he preferred to block with his uh, hands but he wasn't able to take back those two points instead the blue was able to score two points because he kept the leg up and scored with cut kicks and here the blue just lift his leg to the head and was able to score other three points the red was able to find a spot for a spinning back kick the blue is a bit aggressive he was able to put in the corner the red Talk about in other video that if you want to score points, you should use the opposite side, so you should use a spinning back kick to secure a point on the opponent. But also in this case, if the opponent uh, uses a spinning back kick and is wide open, like here, the red was able to score four points on the blue armor. Also, if it wasn't uh, in theory the best option, but he was able to find a spot. So, theory is used to help you improve, learn some skills, but then you have to adapt against the opponent and the situation. In that case, it was a, a good thing for the red to score with a spinning back kick. Clinch the red, first use the back kick, but the red is not moving, so he's not trying to dodge, he used, uh, we are going to talk later about this kick, and he forced an eye kick, a nax kick to the red helmet. So, the opponent is in the corner, he's not moving, we can force some eye kick. 
Okay, now we have to talk about this kick that Red used. It's a kick that a lot of high level player training is really weird. I know it's really boring, it's not taekwondo, <laughs> but it's something that you should learn and should use because it helps you to score points. When you are closing a clinch, you have to jump and uh, respond with this. Uh, like roundhouse kick with your front leg okay. so it's a, a bit weird uh, you can rewatch it and uh, you can learn it's just a way to lift your leg you have to keep the leg as close as you can to your body in that way you can score the opponent uh, we have a lot of common kick in this moment so just roundhouse that you can learn in your uh, doyang but here we can watch this type of um, outer side kick the goal is to lift your leg and you have to incline the direction of your, of your kick so you have to go on this way or if if you can you have to incline also your body and go in this direction perpendicular to the blue armor in this way you are going to score with this type of kick is a kick that scores a lot of points and that advise you to learn and uh, you can easily surprise your opponent with this kick the combo for the red was a uh, roundhouse roundhouse and then he goes with uh, an outer kick when the opponent walked toward him he closed with a jumping kick uh, to the front armor but wasn't able to score the way he was able to score three points he closed the distance with the multiple side kick or just uh, roundhouse kick with the front leg and when he was enough close he used the sort of snake kick or better question mark kick so he closed the distance and here yeah it was a, a question mark kick to the head fate back kick to the armor but instead uh, he went for the helmet and again when he's in clinch now we watch how this kick was able to score against the blue he closed with a back kick. He was able to score 3 points. And there, of course, there is uh, those other 2 points. So this is really a uh, good advice that uh, people are not taking in most lower bests. Are just like striking one time and then stop uh, for I don't know <laughs> what type of reason. In this moment, he closed this time with a side kick and used a spinning hook kick to strike and take those points but he was able to find the two points on the back just for a red mistake let's watch this little mistake the red closed the distance then the blue closed the distance and was able to find a spot on the back of the armor so a lot of back kick in this match are scored on the back side of the opponent armor instead on the side so it seems that the korean player train a lot the clinch style but with the goal to score on the back side of the opponent armor if you like this video i also advise you to watch the video on the center of the screen